What's the first thing you do at the movies after you buy your ticket? Mm, chances are popcorn. And chances are the popcorn was popped on a machine made by a Chicago company that's been in business for 125 years. ABC 7's Frank Matthey has the story. The story of the Sea Creators Company on North California isn't just the tale of a successful invention, the corn popping machine. It's also the story of five generations of the Chicago family that have taken a great idea and turned it into a worldwide success. It all began in the 1880s when a man named Charles Creators turned a failure into a fortune. Well, my great-grandfather uh, bought a peanut roaster that he didn't like, thought he could do a better job, moved to Chicago, built the peanut roaster, and then it evolved into a popcorn machine, which he took to the Columbian Exposition in 1893, and from then on it was building popcorn machines. That first machine turned into a booming business that satisfied fresh pop popcorn cravings from Chicago to Shanghai, from street wagons to movie theaters everywhere. Our machines can be found virtually around the world. Uh, we've, we have records of uh, some of the earliest machines back in the late 1800s being shipped over into, into Europe. They make thousands of theater popcorn machines every year, and they are tested here before shipment. No, they don't sell the popcorn. They just make the machines, some of them as big as locomotives. They can pop 1,000 pounds of popcorn per hour. Who needs that? Well, large companies who are producing popcorn to go into retail stores. Like? Like Frito-Lay, Cracker Jack. This machine goes back to 1895, two years after the World's Fair. It was powered by gasoline or kerosene. It was a steam engine, and it roasted peanuts and popped popcorn all at the same time. This Charlie Creeters I was some kind of genius. He was pretty darn smart. You bet he was. I'd love to have made him. Maybe you will someday. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I will. <laughs> maybe I will. The C. Creators Company celebrates its 125th anniversary next Thursday. Frank Matthey, ABC 7 News. Happy anniversary. Wow. That's great. What an interesting yeah. story.